Yeah, I appreciate you guys taking the time with me as well. Yeah, yeah. We got all of our uh, San Antonio local media on here, so we got some hands raised, so we'll just get right at it. Um, okay. We'll start with Tom Morsborn from the San Antonio Express News. Tom, go ahead, man. Hey, Trey, congratulations. Um, Thank you. Did you break the no hug rule with your mom tonight? And uh, <laughs> just, just describe that moment being around her and, and the joy that you guys must have felt. Yeah, I had to. I had to uh, break that break that rule tonight. You know, I made made sure we all were um, very safely leading up to the draft tonight. Made sure everyone uh, got COVID tests before tonight as well, so uh, we all could. You know, I knew that it would be um, emotional, so we all could be um, very close and emotional with each other. And so, I did have to break that rule, with my mom. But you know, it was very special to just share this moment with you know my family members and you know everything that. You know, we've been to, been through, and just sacrificed together to to get to this moment. Um, it just meant the most to me, for sure. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. We'll kick it to Evan Klosky from Ken's Five, our local uh, TV station. Go ahead, Evan. Hey, Trey. Congratulations. Uh, just wondering what kind of communication you have with the Spurs in the pre-draft process, and what you know about San Antonio entering. Uh, I guess coming to San Antonio in the next couple of weeks. Right. Yeah, so I was able to um, have have two interviews with them in the pre-draft uh, process, and um, they also um, were able to watch me work out um, in, in a sort of, uh, you know, it's a different way uh, with everything, but they're able to watch me work out as well. And so, um, you know, I'll, I'm very fortunate and very lucky to be um, selected by uh, this great organization and you know, I, I couldn't think of a better organization to be a part of uh, to get my MBA career going. So um, I know the winning tradition that they have, you know, ever since I've been alive, they've really been um, in the mix of the playoffs and in the mix of uh, trying to make make a run for the uh, NBA championship. And so I know that, you know, this year they, they missed the playoffs and it was one of the first years um, in a while. And so I want to be able to um, be able to just help in all ways possible to get back to, to the playoffs and get back to winning. And I know everyone down there is, um, that's their main focus as well. And so to be able to just group up with all those guys, be able to learn from uh, the veterans that those guys have and also be able to, you know, get after with the, with the young guys. I know there's a great young group down there as well. So to be able to get after with those guys and push each other every single day and get better and just um, get after winning like, like we want to do. Thanks, Evan. Let's stick with our CBS affiliate, Ken's Five, with Tom Petrini. Go ahead, Tom. Hey, Trey. Congratulations. Thank you. Going from Coach K to Coach Pop, you know, to, to legends of the game, um, what do you think are some of the most important things you've learned from your coaches over the years that have helped you get to this point? Right. Yeah, like you said, it's just to be able to go from – you know, one legend to another, um, you know, I couldn't, I really couldn't be luckier. And I'm very fortunate and very blessed to be in this position for sure. But I think something I learned from Coach K uh, is his, his dedication to the game. And I think that's something that, you know, him and Coach Pop both both share um, for sure is just their dedication for the game. They've been doing this for a long time at a very high level and they've, they've been winning um, the entire time doing it as well. And um, something you notice about the both of them is that, you know, they never get tired of it. They seems like they continue to get hungrier every single year and continue to push every single year to try to do it um, even better, even more. And so I think that's something I learned from Coach K. And I, I definitely have seen that um, in Coach Pop and how, he, how he's been over the years and the, the hunger he continues to have every single year. Awesome. Let's go to uh, Lauren Chan, who's with Spurs.com. Go ahead, Lauren. Hey, Trey, congratulations. Um, what, what do you remember from your uh, scouting report and matchups with Devin, and, and what's it going to be like being a teammate with him now? Um, excuse me? Um, we, 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 uh, the Spurs drafted Devin Vassell at, at 11. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah, I what know do you that. Um, matching up with yeah, him? Devin Vassell, uh, he's a great player. I know he's a, he's a defender himself. Um, I remember that for sure. Um, you know, he's real long, real athletic, um, has a great, great frame. And so just the way he can defend, I, I definitely remember that and um, the, the teams that he, he played on, but also just the competitor he is. I know that, you know, he, he played very, very well for them in big games. And 
I think that's that speaks to um, what kind of player he is and also how he how much better he's gotten over the years um, from year one to year two. Um, you know, you, you saw a lot of or I saw a lot of um, improvements that he made throughout his entire game. And so I think um, that that goes to show um, how he is about his game and how serious he takes um, how, how serious he takes his game and how much he wants to improve his craft every single year. And, um, you know, I'm just excited to get after it with those guys. Thanks, Lauren. Let's go back to the Express News. Uh, Jeff McDonald. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Trey. How's it going? Good. How you doing? Not bad. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you've had a chance to even think about it in the last hour or so, but but how do you think you sort of fit in with, with the Spurs and not only how they play, but the roster they have, you know, a lot of point guards already here. How do you think you kind of differentiate yourself from, from those guys? Right. Um, I think to start off with, uh, the way that I could fit in is just, um, you know, just, I mean, how everybody wants to win. And I said that before, just how, you know, the, the organization is and how everybody is down there. But I think um, the, share, the same thing that everyone shares on the team is just um, just how they want to win. And that's their main focus. And so um, for myself, that's how it is for me. And just always wanting to win no matter what team I'm on. And so I think I share that with all the guys to start off with. But um, just trying to bring um, something on defensive end every single night. You know, I'm, I've got, kind of been known as a defender. Um, I try to uh, bring it on the on the defensive end every single night for for my teams the past couple of years, and so that's gonna it's gonna be something I do um, for for every team that I'm on, and um, something I'll bring uh, to the team right away. But just just being a true point guard, being able to learn from point guards like you said that that are down there already, um, being able to learn from guys who've been in the league for for many years or a few years, and being able to just try to get ahead of the game and try to try to get a, ahead of the learning curve for sure, and so. You know, being able to learn after some of those point guards, but also being able to compete against them every single day and push myself, push them to to get better every single day. Awesome. Appreciate it. Let's stick with the Express News. Tom, go ahead. Uh, how instrumental was your brothers in, in preparing you for this? And uh, Yes, they were. They were your very brother big. with the NBA experience. Yeah. Yes, uh, both of my brothers were very big uh, for sure. And and everything that I've gone through um, in basketball and in life, um, for sure. But, um, you know, having Ty by my side, um, having him go through a lot of the things that I'm going through right now, um, it's definitely helped, um, for sure. It's helped me stay calm through a lot of things. It's helped me um, helped me get ahead in certain areas, I would say, helped me understand certain things that go on in the NBA. And so just being able to see someone in my position uh, who's gone through similar things um, has definitely helped. And just the way he is and the person he is and the, the relationship we have, um, he only wants to see the best for me. And so he's always trying to help me in any way that he can. And I think that's, uh, that's just so important for myself. And I, I'm definitely very grateful for that. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. We'll go to WOAI, NBC affiliate, Jeff Garcia. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Trey, how you doing? Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, congratulations. Uh, so um, GM Wright uh, really stressed um, the high character that he saw in you uh, ahead of the draft. What does that mean to you that he's focusing on that side of you aside from the X's and O's? Yes, um, that means that means so much to me. Um, you know, for me, uh, I've always been really focused on making sure that I am a high character guy and um uh, you know, that's just the way I was. Uh, that's the way I was taught from from a young age. Um, you know, my mom and my dad uh, always made sure that you know I was the uh, off the court. I, I took care of everything off the court before on the court or in in my sports, and just um, helped me understand how important it was to to be a good person, to always have good manners, to always be respectful to 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 those people around you, um, and that that goes a far ways. And so I'm trying to understand that at a young age and. Also knowing that that basketball um, basketball comes to an end one day, you can't play forever, and so knowing that you know I'm going to have a life after basketball, and um, I got to be able to represent myself in a, in a very good and positive way um, to those people around me. Thank you very much. Thanks, Chef. We'll go to AP Raul Dominguez. Go ahead, AP. Hey, Trey. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Hey, uh, I was going to ask a similar question, but uh, as far as the, the character. 
what did you know about the Spurs and kind of what they've done uh, as far as, you know, things they do off the court, and especially with Pop? Were you kind of aware of, of the things that they've done, and, and how does it feel to join an organization like that? Yes, I know. Um, I think I just know a little bit from, from you know, my college coach, Coach K, from, you know, the way he spoke of, of Coach Pop. You know, they were they were pretty good friends, or really good friends, actually, and, you know, it seems like they, they stay in contact uh, pretty often and um, just knowing how knowing how coaches and you know the people that are in his uh, small circle um, they're very similar to him and so I know I kind of I kind of get how coach pop is and I know that um, they kind of have the the same discipline and same um, things like that and I feel like uh, being able to just um, learn under that and you know all the years that that they put in and all the all the things that they've gone through. Um, I mean, they've, they've produced so many really good players, but off the court, um, they're, they're great. They're great people. And um, I mean, someone that uh, I got really close with in my two years at college was Justin, Justin Robinson. And it, uh, his dad, you know, got to play for, for Coach Pop um, back in the day. And so, I mean, I know how, how great of a family that is. And I know that, you know, that, that probably did come from, you know, playing from such a good coach um, and being able to be shown uh, some of the right things um, throughout life. And so I know I know um, how that's going to go off the court for sure. Awesome. Thanks, Trey. We got one more for you from LaurenChanSpurs.com. Go ahead, Lauren. How, how was that first phone call with Coach Pop? And, and what was that moment like knowing that, that you know, you're in the NBA now? Right. <laughs> and that moment, I'll never forget that moment. Um, you know, for me, uh, the huge basketball head I am. Um, I've always um, looked up to these all-time, all-time greats in the, in the basketball world, and you know, Coach Pop is, is up there with some of the best. And so I have the ultimate respect for him. And to just be able to to hear his voice on the other, the other side of the phone, and um, to be able to talk to him and just let him know how thankful I am for this for this opportunity, um, really meant the most to me. And you know, I can really hear in his voice how he truly means it, and um, I mean, I'm just, I'm so excited for this opportunity. I can't, I can't express that enough. Um, but you know, that, that feeling, I don't know. I don't know how to even explain it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, so, I'm just so lucky and so fortunate to be in this position to be drafted by, you know, such a great organization. And I'm just going to do everything I can to make the most of it. Well, go enjoy it with your family, Trey. We appreciate you jumping on with us. Uh, we'll see you in San Antonio in a couple of weeks. Uh, appreciate your time. Have a good night. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Appreciate Thanks. it.